we've always had big dogs. Uh, Bobo and Shep. Chandler's my daughter's, and he still comes to visit us pretty frequently. But, you know, I made a video a couple years back when Bobo died. You know, he was a hell of a dog. This dog had skills. Uh, this I made this video a while back. You can go back and look at it if you want. But uh, really, the point is, uh, he wasn't really what you might call an affectionate dog. But man, he he would he would play with you all day long. Didn't really like to be petted, but he loved to loved to swim. Shep, on the other hand, had uh, really no redeeming features at all. But Shep was even older than Bobo. And, uh, well, they say nothing lasts forever. FBI! <laughs> Good boy, Shep. What's up, Shep? Well, finally, Shep died, too. That left Django, but I was starting to think that Django was getting a little bit lonely. Well, it turns out Mama was getting lonely, too, and after about a month of moping around the house, she went out and got herself a new dog. Thus knocking Z. She's playing with the bones of our ancestors. What's up, girl? What's up, Shotzi? Probably shouldn't be letting a German Shepherd learn to bite me. <laughs> what are you doing? Shotzi doesn't like the water. Well, Mama was having so much fun, I decided I had to get one too. She's like, yay, finally somebody to play with. Mm -hmm. How are you going, buddy? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. It was right about then when another coyote came sniffing around. But we'll talk about how we dealt with him in my next video. What is it, Max? 
You hear the ancestral enemy, don't you? But we'll take care of business later. Well, that was the beginning of the Shotzi and Max show, and we've been running around trying to keep up with them ever since. <laughs> She sits there and steps on his head, so... these shenanigans. Oh, Jeffy, what's up, Matt? 